I've got a special deal for you. People are counting on you to help them out. Please, don't just stand around. Do something. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it. Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would've been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed put the good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But... It's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sickbay visiting Dr. Lena. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infect that I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. I 
I saw some people in this school. Got to wonder what they were doing there. Seems there's some survivors at the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. Guess if anyone's gonna bullshit their way to safety, it's gonna be Dahlia, right? <laughs> Did you say she's a witch? She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her, because of her voodoo hocus pocus. They say she walked clean across the city without getting touched, at night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. Zara asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they'd been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. The scouts have seen people entering the school. Something's going on there. We are waiting for you. Yes, hurry up. You're putting us behind schedule. Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'm at the ferry station up in the morning and we'll prep the barge. Great. It's Lena. Go ahead. We found two more vials of that fake antazine. Reckon it's boiling mad. Yeah, I'll bet. That's but here. Stable. Oh. Oh. to him ten minutes later, he wouldn't be. This stuff is lethal, Green. Putting them out of business is your number one priority. Right, understood. Fuck 
spring for you. Mr. Dahl should fire you.
Hey. Must be Get dozens of bastard. them. Out. What can Great. I do for you, my friend? I how many of us yeah, I hear you're selling antizin. Empty pill bottles. Who told you that? You want that a little man, bird? No. Not just the same Hell person no. who told me you've been cooking up garbage and putting it in fake vials. For sure. Garbage. My formula is fifty times better than that crap they drop in boxes. Not only does it keep you healthy, it gives you super strength, incredible speed, and laser eyes. I could burn you with one look if I wanted to. I'm shutting you down, Bento. Yeah. Yusuf said you'd try to make trouble. Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. And you're fucking dead! We've got a visitor. <coughs> Don't be like that! Come down! Let's do this! Put some on you! What is this shit? Here, let's do this. Get that bastard. Ooh. <laughs> 
Lena, it's Crane. Yes. You can tell Brecken that counterfeit lab's out of business. Good work, Crane. That's a big relief. Are you all right? I'm fine, but Yusuf tipped him off that I was coming. I was afraid of that. Brecken was going to lock him up, but he'd already slipped out. Now, if he comes back, I'm gonna have a word with him. Not if Bahir gets to him first. This is the Fort Jefferson Tower, and you will address me as Commander Jeff. I make the rules here, is that clear? Not Brecken, not Rice. This is Jeffville, or Jeff Land, or Jeffertown, or New Jeff City. Look, Jeff. Commander Jeff! There's an emergency. The gas is out all over the city. Oh, yeah. That... that was me. Will you shut off the gas? Installation of the Fort Jefferson Apocalypse Wall required a temporary interruption of the civilian gas supply. But I'm all ready now, so you can turn it back on. I think that's going to be your job. No can do. I'm too critical to base operations. We'll have to send someone who's expendable. <clears throat> Commander, I'd like to volunteer. You're a good man, whoever you said you are. I hate to lose you. Now. Go open the quadrant allocation valves, plus the primary distribution gate. Then report back to me and I'll restore the city main pressure here. Hey, if you don't get killed, you can be the first civilian to witness my apocalypse wall.
signals are stronger now. Excuse me? Would you look at me, friend, and think that man is a success? No? <laughs> I do not blame you, but I am. You see, I was. Almost every gasoline station in Haran I owned. And when they announced the Global Athletics Games, it was supposed to be like, like a windfall. Like winning the lottery. That didn't work out, huh? Well, look around you. What do you think, huh? Haran was a decent place to live. Maybe a little backward in some ways, but we got by. Then we won the bid for the games. Oh, all the promises they made us. Average citizens were supposed to become wealthy. And the wealthy, well, we were supposed to become kings. King. All the dreams we had, the plans we made, gone in the blink of an eye. And it wasn't just successful entrepreneurs either. The government filled all our heads with golden promises. Are you a window washer? An appliance repairman? A ditch digger? The games will transform your lives. Your world will change. Yes, our world changed. Sure enough. You take a good look around you, friend. You take a good look and you tell yourself, I must appreciate what I have right now in this place. Because it can all be snatched away from you in the time it takes to blink your eyes. Ah! 